Hello guys and welcome to another Monster Hunter Rise video. This time I'll be showcasing the gun lens. Do bear in mind this is not a tutorial, it's just a video to showcase the gameplay style of the weapon. So, starting off uh, with the gun lens. So if you press the right trigger in X and A, you can do a wipe and fire, which is a very powerful move and it's quite flashy. It's also like the move that pretty much sells the gun lens. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was License to Skill. Peace. Oh, it's still there. Okay, so pretty much resuming with the gun lens. Um, right now, they, they actually introduced a new a, a new bar, which is the one you can see in the top left corner. So the one that's kind of like depleting right now, that's that's the cooldown for the um, wife and Fire. So it does have like a, quite a long uh, cooldown. I don't remember if the cooldown is actually 90 seconds to 120, but it's it, it does range around that. Um, so following on with, with other gun lens moves, so like... When you're stationary, you can press X three times to do the triple poke. Um, and you can also do the triple poke and then pressing A just pretty much uh, fires uh, fires the weapon. And you can use this to make an infinite combo. So you can press uh, X three times, then continue doing any other thing. So there you go. Triple combo, fire, triple combo, fire. So it's good to show off the reloading mechanics, so you can pretty much shoot and then press uh, R and, uh, the R trigger and A uh, to pretty much reload all the shells. Another thing that you can also do in terms of combos, you can press X and A and then X and A and then you're going to be firing um, the Worm Strike cannon, the cannon, which pretty much sticks to the monster and it's just a bunch of explosives as well, so it does explode on a monster, so that's pretty good. And that also is a type of ammo that you can also reload. Uh, but to reload this one, you, you need to do the stationary reload, which is pretty much uh, stopping and then pressing the right trigger and A. Uh, there's also more There's also more combos, so you can also pretty much uh, fire fire the gun lens three times, and then it will do, again, the Worm Strike Cannon. Um, other than that, you can also pretty much... Actually, you also have guarding as well, which is also quite important since, since you do have this massive shield, so you can just press the um, the right trigger. And that's pretty much... Okay, there's also another one that's also an important combo, if I can pull it off. So if you press uh, XA and then press X again, you can do the Worm Strike Cannon again. Uh... And the final combo that I want to show off as well, it's this one, where you press X and then you can press A to pretty much shoot all the all the ammo that you have uh, in the gun lens. So, in terms of uh, the silk bind moves, um, you do have uh, L, L and A, um, left trigger and A, pretty much uh, gives you a guard uh, that also uh, regenerates sharpness. So this is really important because every time you fire a shell, um, the sharpness get uh, gets depleted each time you do it. So this is kind of a of a good move um, to kind of like balance it out. Uh, and it's also important because if for some reason you're fighting the monster and you you just go from green sharpness to yellow and you don't and you don't have time to sharpen your weapon, you can go with this just to try to go back f to green sharpness, even if it's for a, a little while. Um, also, another very important move, and this goes back to the move that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So, if we launch um, a Wyvern Fire, which you can also aim if you need, uh, this Silk Bind move, which is the left trigger and X, you do like this overhead slash, with, which you can basically combo with, with other moves. But if you notice in the bar, the cooldown was significantly reduced. So this reduces the cooldown of your Wyvern Fire. It's it's really important to keep this in mind. So with that with that done, let's go ahead and hunt the Great Izushi. Well, if the supply box allows us. Uh, let's go ahead. So do bear in mind that... I won't be using any kind of endemic life um, or the mounting mechanic because I want to showcase the weapon itself. Just before I actually start, I will sharpen my weapon because just for this for the for this demonstration, I already used quite a lot of sharpness. Just shooting the shells. So there he is. Let's see if he doesn't run away, which he did. Yeah, he did just to fight the Arzuros. 
So let's go ahead. Oops. Went. So one one of the things about the gun lines, uh, in terms of uh, movement and patterns, like they they're very like attack patterns. They're very different from any other weapon. So and that's probably one of the reasons like some people kind of shy away from picking it up because the approach that you take from playing any of the well even the gun lines and the lance is quite it's quite different. Even I'm like I haven't played the gun lines in a while, so I am kind of like getting used to it again especially coming from the lance because that's what i've been using recently there you go yeah i really need to get used to this again so do bear in mind they tried to use my silk bind right there yeah i still got that damage out so that's okay Yeah. The thing is, because I'm coming from the lance, I'm, I'm just so used to using the counter lancing. And I'm doing the same, I'm trying to apply the same logic here in the gun lens, and I'm failing miser miserably because of that. So this is a good opening actually, let's go with the wyvern fire. And let's see if I can actually have the over... Okay, I do have it, so let's reduce the cooldown. So let's try and regain some distance. They just the, the shield there, so that was good. So if you're a beginner, would I recommend the gun lens? Uh, I wouldn't necessar necessarily, because the thing is you need to know the monster patterns. And I'm feeling horribly <laughs> to actually do that right now. Uh, and also, there's, there's a, there's like, in terms of uh, getting punished, as you can see, uh, even I'm getting punished quite a lot for not playing this weapon in a while. So, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't really recommend this to start with. So, if you're a veteran and you're coming from the Gunlands and you're looking for something uh, new, I would actually, uh, well, obviously, the Gunlands and the Lance, they're kind of like weapons... Um, they're kind of of a class of their own. So for, if you're coming from the gun lens, I'll pick up the lens. Um, if you're looking for a different, uh, for the same style of weapon. Uh, if you're looking for something different, you can pick any other weapon. So let's try and finish him off. Wyvern oh, Fire is still not ready. I do need to reload. Okay. I was hoping to fire that off, but I completely missed. So, let's protect ourselves. Try to do a bit more damage. That was a good guard. Okay, I just took the shield out in the worst uh, time. I am in trouble, actually. I shouldn't be greedy, so I'm just going to back up a little bit. Just to gain a bit of distance and heal up. This is definitely not, not, not the best demonstration of the gun lens, so do forgive me for that. Oh, and actually got it now. Oh, anyway, now this is for real. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. This was License to Skill. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon for more notifications on my next video. So that was it. Thank you very much. Peace.